So, emotional dentistry, what is it? And it's really interesting because when I actually heard the concept, actually saw the concept in writing, I didn't really understand what it meant even though I basically had been practicing it my whole life. So it's kind of a, you know, interesting to, to see those two words together because it's like, how can dentistry be emotional? And it actually turns out that it can be, not only can it be in many ways, but it should be at all times. So basically it's kind of hard to summarize the concept. I will show some examples so that you understand what it, what it means, but it's basically uh, that feeling that you get when you can picture yourself, um, your better version, the better version of yourself. Some people would say it's the real you that comes out once you see um, or you understand the feeling of you with a with the smile that you've always wanted and it doesn't necessarily mean when we change a full smile like even you know the the little differences or like the little tiny details that we can do to change the way that your teeth look even if it's just one tooth it can make a world of a difference in the way that you feel so um, to really try to put that together so it's not only the the feeling that you get, uh, that confidence that you get when you have that smile that you've always wanted, but it's also that connection that you get um, with me, the provider or your dentist, the person that's giving you the opportunity to be able to see what's possible, to be able to give you that almost hope and freedom of what it could be, you know, if you felt that way. So there's many different things that can describe it, but I think that's almost the best way to describe it. Of course, it comes with all kinds of different emotions. The way that, um, the, way, the reason I'm saying I've been practicing it my whole life is because I've always developed that really um, intimate connection with my patients. We're always joking around and hugging or, you know, like it, that's always been the kind of dentistry that I've practiced. But now we're able to elevate those conversations and those connections with different things that we're, you know, now with digital dentistry, we're able to give. So for example, something that we're doing a ton in the practice and it's really quite fun one of my favorite things to do is the test drive experience so it's like a smile shopping experience and then you get to test drive your favorite designs and you get to see what it would look like and what it would feel to have that smile um, the the interesting thing about this is that if you've never felt low self-esteem or if you've never felt that you've had to cover yourself or not be able to be spontaneous because of your smile you have no clue what I'm talking about but for you the person that you know tries to cover their smile for the person that when they take a selfie they don't smile wide uh, for the person that's trying to laugh because something is really funny but then they just cover themselves or like go down the person that's experiencing all of that completely understands what I'm talking about because it's that feeling of um, not being able to be yourself. It's that feeling to not have the freedom to just let it go. So um, to be able to give you the gift of freedom and confidence is quite the thing. So the emotional dentistry part is not only what you feel, it's not only um, the connection that that brings, you know, the patient, you the patient to the doctor, because I'm able to give you almost that gift, but it actually also works on me. It's that connection that I feel with you because I know the, I know what I can give you. I know the possibilities and then I get connected to, to how you feel and how I know you will feel once this is a permanent thing. So whenever we have these experiences in the office, um, it's, it's a very interesting feeling. You, you get enamored with that idea and that hope of what it could be and then I get very connected and entrenched with you know what what you feel and I really want to do it because I you know I just I, I feel that if it's something that my hands can do then I really want to do anything possible to make it happen and to help you make it happen it's really interesting though because when this experience happens um, I would say that the experience gets the, the the best experience or the coolest way to to be able to come into this experience is to really almost 
allow yourself to enjoy it and allow yourself to even be maybe even vulnerable to what the feelings that you're experiencing because there's we all react different to different things right so for example there's the the you know crazy laughter happiness you know very open um there's those reactions there's the the reactions of you know just crying of happiness and all of those mixed feelings that um, you almost don't understand sometimes it's the laughter and the crying as well um sometimes you can just you know you're trying to really take it in and you're trying because you've been so used to hiding your emotions especially if you want to smile um you basically there's no reaction um which makes it a little bit hard for me to read if i did something wrong or if i you know if you don't like it so i always say i really want to try to get as much feedback as possible because i am showing one possibility of many possibilities because you know that's only the starting point to just make sure we're speaking the same language is if you like the design if you want it uh, longer, shorter, more square, more round. We try to go specifically with what belongs in your face and what goes in harmony with your face. But there's that's just one uh, starting point. So when I get the the quiet reactions, um, it's kind of hard to read. And then we just have a conversation about you know what what is it that you like. And most of the times, it's that um, they're tr just trying to take it in. Uh, so there's also, you know, the regular reactions like, wow, and um, Christian Coachman, who's the, the founder of Digital Smile Design and uh, the person that's really bringing this philosophy to light nowadays, uh, he, he, he says it's, if, if you don't get the word wow in it, um, then you haven't done your job. And it's actually quite true. It, usually the word wow comes. So once again, we all experience it differently. And I guess you'll have to try yourself to see what it feels like. The reason we call it emotional dentistry too, it's because uh, some of the smile projects or the smile designs that we do, it's not really just how the smile physically looks so much better, but it's really that, that feeling within that almost comes out. So it's not just a smile, but it's almost like a, in many cases has been almost a personality change because now you're just, you want to smile all the time and then all those good feelings and endorphins and all of that um, happening. And then you're also letting the, that inside person come out. So it's, it goes really full circle. The other really cool thing about this experience is that, you know, because I am sh actually showing you what the possibilities are and you can really get to experience it instead of me telling you something abstract, it really helps me understand your needs. It helps me understand and read you a little bit more. It opens up conversations that wouldn't otherwise happen. So it really, really helps me take really much better care of you. So to summarize, I think the most beautiful thing about this emotional dentistry is, is how we have the ability or how I have the ability to change your life, to impact and make a difference in your life by really bringing to life all of the possibilities, by showing you what's possible, to, by embracing all of these different ideas of what it could be and to really help you connect to your better self. So I'm really, really proud to be able to do that. Sometimes I tell myself I can't believe that my hands can actually do that for somebody and I can't think of a job that actually has the gift of giving that. So um, I hope you like this video. I hope it helps you understand a little bit of the concept of emotional dentistry. And if you would like to experience what it feels like, uh, I invite you to come and you know take a look and get a test drive so that you understand what this experience is and how much fun it is. So looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye.